You're only gonna need a few ingredients for this. You're just gonna need a bunch of basil. Mm, smells so fresh. Um, you wanted to put that on your own pizza. Fresh Parmesan cheese, which we're going to grate. Half a cup of pine nuts. It's better if you toast these or roast these in the oven for about five minutes for 100 degrees. Um, just to get that nice golden brown color and then to smell that aroma of smokiness. It enhances the flavor into your pesto. All right, so Parmesan cheese, a little more grated Parmesan cheese. Third of a cup to a cup of olive oil. Let's start. vines or the stalks in there just gonna grind itself up anyways once all your basil is in your blender you're going to add in your pine nuts next thing you're gonna do is let this blend it I'm gonna scrape down the sides make sure all that the basil springs are in nice small pieces it'll be easy for you once you put the olive oil and the cheese in next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grate you're gonna grate some cheese, like I think into the blender would be better. Actually a righty, not a lefty. I don't know what I'm doing. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Grated cheese. Who doesn't want extra cheese? That should be good. Alright. Then if you have one of those blenders where you can take the middle piece out so you can pour your olive oil, it's much easier and so you don't get splattered everywhere when the whole top is off. Slowly add in your olive oil. Ooh, this looks so good. Perfect thickness. It's not too oily, so I think three quarters of a cup works great. Mmm. Wow, this is great. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. Needs a little salt. Let's add in a little salt. Maybe one more pinch. Is amazing there's some people who add all of their ingredients in one and then they just blend them all together it's better if you slowly pour in the olive oil just so maybe it's not too clumpy and you want that really good consistency like so I love pouring pesto or any type of sauce that I make into mason jars This will be good in the refrigerator up for about three to four days. Mm. Homemade pesto is just so much better in my opinion. So with this pesto though, we are going to be mixing it with some gnocchi. Cook your gnocchi according to the package time and then heat up your pesto after the gnocchi is done in the same pot you cooked the pasta in. Heat it up for about two to three minutes over medium high. Pour in your gnocchi. Make sure to save some of your starchy pasta water. Pour some in. You want pasta to make that sound. Great. 
right, let's grab a bowl. Take some of these beautiful pillows. Oh my God. And there we have mm. Let's try it. Mm. Mm, wow. Okay, way better than I expected. The perfect consistency. Gnocchi cooked perfectly. I mean, once it floats, you take it out. You can smell. You can smell the basil more than anything else, and I think that's what you want. This would also be amazing on the pesto pizza. Make sure you go watch my last video about the pesto pizza. It was on a baguette with roasted tomatoes, mozzarella cheese. You can use this homemade pesto on that, or you can mix it with your favorite kind of pasta. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time, which will be next week. Mm, so good. Thank you.